So let's talk for just a moment about being flexible and what you have to give up in order to come to the stage with a strong package. I mean, looking like a contender. So today is my birthday. I'm 39. Last year in my 30s hit me a little harder than I thought. Uh, the plan this morning was to um, get up. My oldest was going to a birthday party. My youngest was going to go to the gym with me, do some legs, and then do whatever I wanted with the rest of my day and maybe hit a movie tonight with the husband. We'd already had a babysitter. But that did not happen. So what happened was my husband works nights. So when he comes home in the morning, he obviously has to go to sleep. And my four-year-old was sick last night. So I got a crap night's sleep and um, could not take him to the gym this morning because I don't take sick kids to the gym. You shouldn't do that. I hate people that do that. Um, I had some grocery shopping I needed to do and I couldn't do any of it because my husband was asleep and my son was sick. So my husband woke up at like one o'clock. Um, I was kind of in a funk because it's my birthday. I'm already not getting cake. I'm not getting ice cream. There will be no cocktails. I'm okay with that. But it wasn't a whole lot of fun just being stuck in the house today. Both of my kids even forgot it was my birthday. Because they're kids. So now I am um, sitting outside my chiropractor's office. I have a 2.30 appointment for some massage work and an adjustment that I'm keeping, which is good. And then I get to go to the gym afterwards and lift legs when I should be at home either getting a mani-pedi or going to see a movie. And then I get to prep the food that was supposed to get prepped this morning. So happy birthday. I'm not complaining about it. I'm very blessed to be able to even do this sport. Uh, but yeah, you got to give up some stuff when you really want to compete. Are now meet Brandon Cresswell. <laughs> this is the man behind the woman. Yeah. We are at Costco, <laughs> and if you can see by me panning <laughs> what section we are in, this is my nemesis, my hang up, my mental block, the most difficult thing for me to give up in prep. And this is what my husband has put in our cart. Can they see me? Yeah. <laughs> and I just have to be supportive because he is supportive of me. Look at that smile. It's just going to get brighter after a couple glasses of that wine. Okay, so uh, not gonna lie, today sucked. Today sucked. Um, I hit the wall today. Anyone that's competed before and done prep knows what that means. I am depleted. I am three weeks in now and I'm definitely starting to deplete or feeling very depleted. Don't have a lot of energy stores and um, Today was just hard. You know, I mean, I was starving. I mean, I know I'm not really starving, but I was really, really hungry. I was in church today and I could not even focus on the service. I was so hungry. So it was bad. Texted my coach. No refeed yet. <sighs> yeah, I listened to coach. She totally knows what she's doing. Today sucked. I did get to the gym today. I did. I made it. I did not want to go. But I made it. And actually a girlfriend met me there. Um, a fellow competitor. And toughed out 40 minutes of cardio with me. Because. <laughs> today just sucked. <laughs> but I made it. Um, didn't cheat. Sucked a plan. I have my um, last meal before I go to bed. And. Yeah, I mean, 
Sometimes, sometimes it just sucks.